So we are now in Belgium, we are in uh, Hoogarden. It's not just the name of a beer, of course, it's the name of the town of Hoogarden. Hoogarden, like you pronounce Hoogarden. Hoogarden. Hoogarden, right? Hoogarden. And look at this logo here. That's a, the, the, the well-known logo. So, if you see these two hands holding two different things. The one on the left is the, what you call a mash paddle. Exactly, it's a symbol of the brewer. We use it, they used to, to have it to really mix. They were made of wood and, and iron and to mix the mash. It's a tribute to all the brewers that were here in New Garden. This small town used to have up to 50, 52 breweries. And the second symbol explained yeah. the first. The second one is the cross of the Prince Bishop of Liege. And the Prince Bishop said, you know what? I'm gonna give you a break on any tax of wheat for the town of Ugarden. We believe it was to give, to grow more wheat in the field and the wheat was used to feed the people, to make bread. More wheat equal more bread for the people. But of course the boers felt like, hey, we're gonna move and use a bit more wheat than barley, why not? And it attracted a lot of boers to come here and use wheat. And that's how the wheat beer style was born. I'm not gonna give you all the secret of Ugarden, but you need but to know some, that, but some. You need to know that of course there is wheat in Ugarden. Yeah. Like all the Belgian wheat. Uh, as a style you have wheat. 40% of wheat inside Ugarden. So that gives this uh, beautiful cloudy character. Uh, you also uh, when developing the recipe added coriander and orange peels. Cloudy, beautiful. Approved. Well, you've got the wheat, definitely the hexagon. You know, it's, it's a heavy glass, it's a bold glass. Um, and it's, actually, it's, a, it's an old tradition uh, in Belgium. We, we make a lot, we, we have a lot of orchard with and small fruits, also raspberry, strawberry, and, and we make a lot of jam in Belgium. It's the best way to preserve your, your fruits at the end of the season. And the confiture, as we say in French, uh, the jam were stored in uh, jam pots. Somehow that shape, really. Um, and that's also what people were using to drink. They were using the, the containers that were available. So th this shape has been uh, um, the shape of, you know, of families to store uh, their fruit, their jam, and, and also to drink beer. So it's a tribute to that, uh, that tradition.